Hello, I'm Andrew and I'm here today to talk to you about Pico's fabrication tubing and how to use it. Let's start off by talking about what it's made out of. The fabrication tubing is halogen free and developed from a unique blend of polyester and polyolefin yarns. It shrinks down to a two to one ratio, which means half of its original size once heated up. Its woven construction allows it to resist trapping moisture, which protects whatever it's covering and allows it to be extremely flexible. The fabric heat shrink tubing meets OHS and UL standards. Once shrunk, the product is rated at an operating temperature of minus 40 degrees Celsius to 125 degrees Celsius, and it shrinks down at 135 degrees Celsius. Pico's fabric heat shrink tubing offers many solutions. It provides excellent noise and rattle suppression, providing cut and abrasion protection for hoses, pipes, and harnesses in low and high temperature environments while providing a great OE look that's hard to find. It also has excellent chemical resistance and provides flexibility for it to stay in place along with good strain relief. I'd like to share with you a demonstration. For this demonstration, we need the following items. For safety gear, we need glasses for eye protection and we need work gloves to protect our hands. For a work surface, we're going to be putting tubing on this battery cable. As far as tools and materials go, we will need the fabric heat shrink tubing. We'll need a tape measure to measure the length of tubing required, scissors to cut it to length, digital caliper to figure out what uh, diameter of tubing required, heat shrink gun to shrink it down to size, and self-using tape to seal off the ends to make it look extra nice. The first step in the process is finding out what size fabric heat shrink tubing we need to use. At Pico, we have fabric heat shrink tubing available in four different sizes, in 10-foot bags and 25-foot reels. We first need to measure the diameter of the cable using our digital caliber. This is telling me that the cable is half an inch wide. So, we're going to want to use our three quarter inch fabric heat shrink tubing because that's our closest size to this. The next step is measuring the cable so that we can see how much fabric heat shrink tubing we need. So, the cable is 10 inches long, but I'm going to cut to 10 and a half inches because this is fabric heat shrink tubing and it shrinks down. I'm going to put away the excess for future use and get rid of this tape measure. So we're going to want to slide on the tubing and then shrink it down using a heat gun and not an open flame torch. You can use an open flame torch, but the high heat of the torch, if, come, if it comes into contact with the tubing, can melt it. It's only designed to have an operating temperature of 125 degrees Celsius and a shrink temperature of 135 degrees Celsius. So if you put a flame that goes to 1300 degrees Celsius, it's kind of logical that it will melt. So I'm gonna grab this propane heat gun from Pico and get shrinking. You're gonna to wanna to provide even heat across the tubing and under some circumstances, what you're shrinking is gonna be forced into place. So you're gonna to wanna to move the torch around it. In this case, I have the cable in my hands, so I'll be twirling the cable around. You're gonna start at one end and wake your way to the other. Even heat across, always moving, not staying in place too long. Perfect. Now that we've shrunk down, the cable is covered. But to give it a bit of a nicer finish than this, we're going to use some self-using tape for each end.
you're going to want to take the self-using tape off of the back cover that prevents it from sticking to itself in package form. Wrap it around once, loosely, and then you have the ability to stretch it to three times its original length to provide pressure and to lock everything into place. So that's one end done. Now for the other end. Now remember, like I said earlier, if what you're working on is held in place, you can't twist it around. And you'll actually have to twist around what you're working with. But because this is loose like this, I have the ability to actually just twirl the cable. Both ends of the cable have been done. The heat shrink tubing has been put on. We've got a completed cable here. As you can see, the self-using tape completes the excellent OE look. And this shrink tubing protects the cable against abrasion, cutting, and will allow moisture to escape. Thank you for watching this demonstration. The largest market segment coverage of top quality parts is now at your fingertips. Connect with Pico today.